It's easy to miss Joanna's little French bistro, but once inside the vintage poster-lined walls, cozy atmosphere, and updated French menu make for a satisfying treat. It's on Cole Street in San Francisco, and it's called Zazie. I'm Jennifer Pila, owner of Zazie Restaurant in Cole Valley. Zazie, uh, the name of the restaurant, came from the film Zazie dans le Metro by Louis Mal, a French film from the 60s, where the main character, Zazie, was uh, sort of the French Shirley Temple. But because she was French, of course, she drank and smoked and swore. Uh, Cole Valley is a real pocket in the center of the city, full of families. A lot of regulars come into our restaurant. I'd say we know about 80% of the people that walk in the door. That keeps us on our toes as far as constantly changing the menu, adding special events every season, and then we also have uh, special weekly events for them. Zazie feels like a house party. It feels like a, a home dinner party every night where tables next to each other know each other, where the staff knows their tables. We're the only non-union restaurant in San Francisco to have full benefits, to my knowledge. And I think that that really makes our staff welcoming and friendly and the kind of people that you want to come back and see again and again. Zazie has been famous for our brunches for years. However, my real favorite is the dinners. I think that they're unique, interesting, sitting outside on the garden patio under the stars. Okay, Joanna, I just like saying Zazie, mais oui, Zazie. <laughs> <laughs> this is French fare. This is, is casual bistro fare, right? Yes, it is a very cozy French bistro in Cole Valley, and it's just a really great neighborhood spot. I love driving over off the beaten track a little because it's not the hot, trendy spot. And I like how nice the, the service is and how they kind of accommodate you if you don't get in right away. You can go to the bar next door and get a drink. Mm -hmm. um, I, we, a, we actually um, got there early and they brought glasses out. They poured the beer for us when we brought our own beer on Tuesdays. Because and they have a, a bring your own, no corkage fee oh, right. on Tuesdays. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And then I just think that the food is so delicious. It's like French comfort food, and it's also very good price. So I, I always enjoy it, and I also appreciate that I can talk to people. It's not too loud. I went for dinner, but I'll tell you, I was not expecting anything that terrific. Mm -hmm. I went with two friends. We had no idea where we were going, what we were doing, and we were thrilled. Oh, okay. And all three of us loved our food. That's great. And I had the price fix menu. Yes. And I, only because, not because of the price, but I was going to order everything mm -hmm. on it. It was delicious. I had the um, polenta mm -hmm. with the, the mascarpone and, and the eggs and uh -huh. the tomato sauce. Drop dead. But my friend had the, had the um, raviolis with the prawns. Mm -hmm. And I'm having that next time. Oh, so you I'm steal off the plate? It you was ate. so <laughs> yeah. good. Oh, and we great. all were happy, all three of us. So mm -hmm. it was, I think it was that's a great, great. find. That's great find. Now, and yeah. um, what did you have when you ate? Um, yeah, I, we had the lemon ricotta mm -hmm. uh, ravioli, which was mm -hmm. fantastic. I got to tell you, the standout dish for me was actually the roasted uh, trout mm -hmm. with okay. cherry tomatoes and basil vinaigrette. That was so delicious. Mm -hmm. I've never had fish that great mm -hmm. and so I just thought it was a fantastic find mm -hmm. uh, for me. It, you're not kidding though about easily missing it because we oh, literally yeah. passed by I think three times before realizing oh there it is, yeah, it is. Uh, but uh, once Could we were there find parking? You? Um, you know we actually used Muni because ah, it's right good. close to um, and Judah yeah. uh, line so it was very easy uh, right, just to right. go there so. Now are you a breakfast brunch person there or? Um... I usually go there for dinner. Mm -hmm. I actually have been there for brunch but I feel like the experience is a little bit better for dinner. Um, mm. I actually like sitting on the back patio. Mm -hmm. They have heat lamps on a cold San Francisco night and it's got lights strung up and it just feels a little bit like you're transported out of the city for mm -hmm. a little. So I, I really like that but I also love for brunch the mimosa that you can design yourself. Mm. It's like you can choose the juice that you wow. want in your mimosa and it's all different kinds of juice and then they can bring out they bring out a little carafe of the juice and then a craft of the champagne. So that's kind of fun if you're going with a girlfriend. I, I, like, I like Joey. <laughs> <laughs> you have together. Yeah, that sounds good. It's a great, I think it's just a great place to go with friends and mm -hmm. uh, you can actually talk. Like a lot of places, they're too loud. Right. 
I feel like it's like this really nurturing environment mm -hmm. for conversation. You can even bring your dog on Monday you night. You can bring, bring your, your dog. dog. Oh, yeah, yeah. there's right. a dog that. You bring yeah. your dog. Yeah. Yeah. So right. that's kind and of. And what fun. about the service there? I thought the service was actually terrific. They mm -hmm. were very uh, attentive. You know, it's a very crowded space, so I, mm. I was kind of wondering, it, you know, how they were going to maneuver actually right. all the tables. But I, I have to really characterize the service as very seamless. They were, mm -hmm. they came right at the right time. To I, ask if we were happy with our meal, exactly. and then she just disappeared. It okay. was great, and we said we were thrilled, and then uh -huh. she just went away, which I like. I don't like someone hovering over right. you. Right. So. Did you have dessert, Lois? You were so thrilled with dinner, and um, you got a prefix. I menu. think we were full. I can't. <laughs> Oh, oh no, we did. We had two desserts. Mine came with. Yeah, the, yours. Oh, it was, it was. It was the. It was the crumble. It was the rhubarb crumble with. Oh, and yeah. I ordered the gelato ice cream. It was terrific. And then we had a chocolate mousse dessert. Oh, oh yeah, we didn't leave a. We didn't leave a thing. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Can't get better than that. And what about because you got the prefix? Do you do you feel that this was a, a good value? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, terrific value. And what they did, which I like, because when you're a little older, sometimes you can't eat that much. So the first <laughs> and the third courses are supposed to be smaller, and the middle course, which is the main, is full, uh, the full okay. size. And I was stuffed. So mm -hmm. I thought it was perfect. Okay, good. Right. Yeah, no complaints from me. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> All right. Well, this is your restaurant, so I want you to wrap it up for us, Joanna. I would say that this is a cozy neighborhood spot with delicious French bistro food, and you will not be disappointed. Lois? An unexpected surprise, and I'd definitely make the trip to San Francisco to go again. Oh, all right, right. and wow. Ed? Uh, cheaper than a trip to Paris, and uh, <laughs> with an unexpectedly robust menu of French bistro cuisine. All right. If you would like to try Zazie, it's on Cole Street at Carl in San Francisco. The telephone number is 415-564-5332. It's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner weekdays with brunch and dinner on the weekends. Reservations are recommended, and the average tab per person without drinks is around $30.